So speaking on that, what do you think about what's going on with Joe right now and the whole Spotify thing? Um, I, I am like, there, there's fake libertarians. Like, mm-hmm. There's fake freedom people who are like, oh, um, you know, my second amendment or my first amendment or uh, my beliefs are the ones that are important and, and yours don't matter. Um, well, that, that's like the act, the opposite of what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, so when, when, if you're saying something that makes my blood boil, I mean, just like infuriates me to such a degree, but I value freedom. Mm-hmm. I should embrace the idea of you being able to say that. And if what you're saying is untrue, um, misinformation, a lie, label mm-hmm. it however you want. Uh, the way to combat that is not silencing you. Matter of fact, I want what you're saying to be projected to the world Mm -hmm. so they know the charlatan liar and idiot that you are when I present the truth. Truth wins out, right? So the way to to fight bad ideas are with good ideas. Absolutely. You don't silence the bad ideas. Mm -hmm. You just have a better idea. And right now, the effort is any not toe-in-the-line idea, like I'm not supporting... The general narrative, the overall mm-hmm. approving t- approved talking points by this large conglomerate of media, tech companies, like all of these things, like they have their talking points and they uh-huh. literally distribute them because it all happens simultaneously. They're all saying the same thing and, and concurrently, they're silencing all of the opposing ideas. Yep. You know, talking about a Wuhan lab leak, a year ago, you would lose your Twitter account. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, well, well, okay, so that's what happened. You know, saying that masks didn't work a year ago, you would lose your account. Mm-hmm. Now it's like the CDC's being like, oh man, so uh, cloth masks don't work. Yeah, you know, I really need that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm um, sorry we uh, shut like 40 accounts down that yeah. said something like that. And it is, and then on the First Amendment line, um, specific to Joe, it's so inaccurately portrayed about what's happening. You know, they're like, I'm not, I don't want to listen to a pot smoking UFC commentator that's a comedian mm-hmm. who is giving us his opinions about a topic. That's not what's happening. You have a dude that's curious, and that curious dude is interviewing the best and the brightest on the planet. And I'm listening to the best and the brightest. Yeah. So if I have a doctor that has the patent in designing some segment of the vaccine, I'm very interested in what he has to say. If, Joe's interviewing the most published scientist on a topic. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested in what he has to say. If he brings in um, an astrophysicist and it's like, hey, there's a comet coming towards Earth. Here's the math, how we know this comet's going to hit us. I'm pretty interested in what that dude has to say. Oh, yeah. What Joe has to say, I just, I'm curious about Joe's questions because Joe asked the questions that I want to know. Mm-hmm. You know, like, well, how do you know the comet's going to hit us? Insert this huge scientific thing where I go, I'm not smart enough to understand that, but I'm going to look it up later. Or how big is the comet? Well, that's a complex question. The way that we have to measure it is uh, here it is in this form. Yeah, so-and-so. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so, and, and is the same thing from, you know, horse dewormers to a prescribed medication from a doctor. It's always twisted. Yeah. And um, so the thing to answer your question and I've just been mumbling. No, I love it. Yeah, this is it's impossible to define what the problem is because they keep on twisting the narrative about what is really happening. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no, it's not Joe that is saying misinformation. These are profound scientists, published proven scientists. Let's let them talk. Don't silence them. Sorry. They're not towing the party line. Sorry. They're not, you know, on board with your talking points. But like you're not you're, you're you're shutting down the largest platform for real experts to talk about real things, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry they're not along what you want them to say. So that's a you problem. That's not that's not a Joe problem. So if you know, if heaven forbid, Spotify is so dumb. They would never. I don't think they would. <laughs> no, they would. No. I just think that like the but thing they, they have done. They they yeah. have creeped. You know, they've removed podcasts mm-hmm. like Milo. Yes. Oh, they removed Milo's? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did in the, the Dark of Night. Oh. And if you went back and listened to that, even though I'm not a Milo fan, mm-hmm. I think he's an extremist, but 
when he, the things that he said, whatever that was, six years ago, every one of his projections about what would be happening now, he was right. I was like, yeah. like this gay, um, he, I mean, he hits every single bu- bullet of this, the, a random person that understands culture and, and human nature. Mm-hmm. He nearly perfectly laid out what the next six years would look like. And it's and all been happening. Just it's all been happening. I don't, yeah, I would have to watch it. I'm not sure. Exactly. Well, you can't find it because it's down. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck. Well, maybe there's a website. Find it, send it back to me. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll find the link. Pretty determined guy. No, yeah. I, I thought that was really crazy that that it had gotten that far because like I meet a lot of people, um, and uh, obviously there's so many podcasters out there that were influenced by you know how Joe approaches things, and um, you know I certainly am one of them, and. I just thought it was strange that like, here's a guy that has um, people from so many different like perspectives and, and beliefs and that they, uh, um, they're still trying to say that, you know, he, he has just one agenda or something. And I'm like, I don't think any of these people are actually watching the shows. Like, yeah. I think they're just kind of following what like the group calling is and the narrative is because I've watched a lot of those shows where there's people that I completely disagree with, but it's a it's a really good long conversation and i think that's why podcasts are becoming so popular is because so many news outlets now are clips like they're they're so watered down and they're not accurate you know at least not accurate you can just they're lying yeah Yeah. but i mean even in interviews like they give these people that you know they want to question like 30 seconds to to answer a question that requires like a 30 minute response you know and uh i think that that's super unfair and i think that's why a lot of people gravitate to um someone like joe like you said uh he ask the, the questions we want to ask. Yeah. I mean, I, for the, I, I've really stepped away from, I, I mean, from 2016 to 2019, I don't know how many times I was, I was on uh, major new net news networks, mm-hmm. you know, and now in 2020, 2021, like I'm on fewer and fewer because you asked me a question about um, leaving Afghanistan, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to ask me, not just what happened there, but let's say like, what do you think about what happened in the evacuation of Afghanistan? Mm -hmm. That's a nine hour conversation. You know, like what I I get that you, what you want me to say is Mm -hmm. Biden made a mistake. The department of defense was a failure. You know, insert every single one of the agenda talking points. Um, Some of which are partially true. Some of which are not true at all. Some of which are so nuanced that we would have to break them down and unpack them and, and, and un- understand the complexity of those things for hours and hours. I mean, they, they're going to break what happened down in that evacuation for years and uh, hopefully to try not to repeat it, even though we did. Um, <laughs> but they just want that that six-second soundbite. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's so disingenuous. And, and the coolest part about what's happening right now is people are aware yeah. Like the pendulum has started to swing back to eyes wide open. Mm-hmm. They're done with the lies. They're done with the shenanigans. You know, CNN, somebody gets on there and, and they start like shaping a conversation and the the cons- the consumer, the, mm-hmm. the, the viewer is like, I know what that guy's doing. I know what they're doing. Yeah. I've seen this before. This is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, I'm not buying any of this. No. Yeah, it, it's cool. One, I had a conversation with um, someone at the gym about that, and I was saying, you know, at what point does it become responsible for um, the 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 viewer in a sense? Yep. You know, why why do things have to be so controlled, and you know, why do people have to uh, make sure that they're deplatforming people or there's labels like of misinformation things like that? And I'm like, at what point do we put the responsibility back on the individual to where they're responsible for thinking for themselves and making their own opinions and not being told what to do, which is something that blows my mind that people aren't doing a lot anymore. Individual responsibility. I mean, it is the cornerstone of the American dream and um, a citizen. If we go back to Roosevelt's speech about a citizen, like you have to be healthy. You have to be hard. You have to be a producer. You have to be smart. Mm -hmm. You have to be well-read. So when I look at something, when I read something, can I pick up Mein Kampf and not know who the author is and start reading what's in there and be like, dude, this this person is insane. And uh, whoever wrote this is, should burn in hell. Absolutely, right? And and then you give me the information about who wrote it and the, the context and timeline of it. And I was like, ha! You know, like at no point am, am I going to be like, man, this isn't a bad idea, you know? Yeah, it's... 
I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think anyone is gonna read that and be like, we should bring this back. No, yeah. should 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 I look at a time to kill? Yeah, and. Or to kill a mockingbird. We'll use yeah, it to kill a, a mockingbird. Great, great, great book. Great book. Mm-hmm. So Harper Lee, um, can I take a white attorney defending a black person that was on um, the stand because there was an accusation of a rape by a white woman mm-hmm. and take the time that that book was written, take the context of the civil rights movement and everything that happened from the time that the book was pr- printed to the time that we're in right now mm-hmm. and understand it's time and place and why it's important. Absolutely. Can we talk about the Greek and the weird things that they did? Um, Very you know, strange time. Yeah, yeah, the Spartans and be like, man, they did some weird stuff, yeah. and, but not, but still be able to appreciate the art and the sculptures and their poems. We should be able to, mm-hmm. right? And, and, and take it in the context of the time that it was written in. You cannot judge everything in a 2022 world. No. You know, um, you might as well just delete everything, everything from 2020 back and start over. I was born in 1979. Um, if there were di- a digital record of what I did in the 80s and 90s, dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. I would my be old in prison says, for the rest of my life. Yeah, my dad was in a, he was a drummer in like an 80s rock band. He had the long hair, all that stuff. And he was kind of saying the same thing. He's like, oh, we, we would all be in jail or yeah. we would all be done, like canceled. Like there's... No way, and um, and yeah. to, to today today's standards were wrong, mm-hmm. you know. But then it was totally right, you know. And it, it, all of the things from um, partying with ring girls, you know, mm-hmm. to um, after fight fight parties, and everything that happened in there, like th- those were normal, not healthy, mm-hmm. but normal things, you know. Uh- <laughs>